Well, Gaffer, your assessment of that 3 1 win at Barnet? Second half was a markedly improvement on the first half. Uh, second half, much more at it, much more what I expect. First half, we, we were off the pace. We didn't play at a quick enough tempo. We didn't run enough. Um, so, a lot to speak to the players about now on that and show them. Um, but second half was was a big big improvement in terms of how I want to play, and of course we want to play uh, football. And we want to play through the, you know the way I want to play, but we've got to run. And that's the most important thing. We need to outrun teams in it. We just didn't do that enough set first half for some reason. So I'll speak to the players about that now. Yeah, was that disappointing? Because obviously pre season's about impressing, isn't it? It's about staking a claim for the first team game. It's, it's all about, and you know, we've brought in nine players now to add to the ones that were here last season. It doesn't make any difference to me who starts. I'm not bothered. You know, there's a group of players there that anyone could start. Some may not think that, but they then have to rise to the challenge. That's what part of being part of a, a successful squad's all about. But second half, I was I was a lot pl more pleased in terms of how we moved the ball, how we pressed. And first half, we didn't do that well enough. Credit to Barnett, they're a good technical team. But when you play against a team that's technically good on the ball, we need to find ways of making sure they don't hurt you. And first half, they hurt us too many times. So, but. It's it's part of a learning curve in terms of um, moving towards the start of the season, which is only two weeks ago away. That will go very quickly, and the players need to understand the ones that have come in, how I want to work day to day, and you know they'll get a better understanding after today. Yeah, the goal you conceded, I guess that's part and parcel. You want people to make angles for your goalkeeper when you're playing out from the back, and they just got a little bit stuck under him, I think. Yeah, the three goals we've conceded have been really sloppy. All three goals, which I don't like. Yeah, it did get stuck, but there should be perhaps someone making an angle to help him or just clear it. We don't want to be, we, although we want to play out from the back, I don't want to be losing goals through it because that's suicide. So we don't want to do that. And uh, it was a disappointing goal to lose, but Christie will work on that. And up to then, he was, he was very good. Yeah. Ivan Tony's taking a claim with that free kick berth as well. Well, Ivan's um, a very big player for us and very important, and he scored another goal, which is great for strikers. Um, he was getting a tad frustrated because uh, I don't think we got close enough to him. So, but uh, you know, Ivan's a very good player. Yeah. Serhat Tazdemir scored probably the, go the goal of the game, a, a tremendous strike, and he, he looked very busy in that role. I think people, that, when you watch him and if you didn't know him, even some of our fans, he's 18. He's going to be a good player. He's 18 years of age, and when we go on about Burrows and Barker, he's pretty much the same age as them, you know. So, he's. Uh, growing into the role his best position is there but he can play wide we'll need to do a bit of work on him if we played him wide drifting in, in space and stuff a fantastic goal and I've seen him do that in training so he's I've been really really pleased with him and he should be really happy with the pre-season he's had up to now yeah, what do you think of that guy Boyd in midfield yeah George, listen George has still got to understand we, we have to do a bit of work on the role in terms of certain bits in this, as we've seen but what, you, what you, he brings is, is he, he wants to run and he wants to tackle and he wants to get after people and all the rest of it takes care of itself because he's played at the highest level but one of the main things I think George is going to bring is, is an example to the others about how he, he works and that's what I want from everyone and he's a great for me as a manager to say look there, there's, your, there's your prime example he's played at the top level Mark Beavers is similar how they go about their work and that's what I want to get out of my players and these young players have to learn quickly because we haven't got time to wait we have to fly out the blocks in terms of uh, it doesn't mean we have to win every game at the start of the season, but there's a way I want to play and it's going to be aggressive and we have to run. And if people find that difficult, then it'll be difficult for them to get in the team. No Matt Godden today? No, Matt, he just felt a little knot in his glute. Um, he's, he's had it for quite a while now. He got a scan last season, but it wasn't a great scan in terms of the results, in terms of the actual pictures. We re-scanned him and there is something going on in there. We felt the best thing to do was to take him out for a week and just load him up gradually because it's not going away it's been there for quite a few months now we thought it would go away in the closed season but it hasn't so it's been a bit stop start with Matty obviously with the personal stuff but he's getting there and he obviously needs to a few weeks now to get up to speed but yeah he'll be fine and Dan Butler here but not involved in this squad yeah, no Dan Dan is only had a month off and he got to the playoff final of course with Newport so he was always going to miss a game he, he felt a little bit of tightness in his calf we felt this was the right one to just take him out and listen he's fit fit as a fiddle so it was the right time to just give him a breather I think sometimes it's good for players to watch games as well yeah, you had uh, Conor O'Malley not here today Aaron Chapman played the second half just having a look yeah I've got three goalkeepers at the moment um, and uh, obviously Aaron's Aaron's on the list at the moment and I just felt he needed a game you know so he played 45 at Bedford on Tuesday um, Aaron and uh, Connor will play
play 45 each and 90 red and Christie will play 90. Yeah. And Marcus involved in any of those games? Marcus will be involved for 45 minutes against Reading. Boydie will play an hour against Redden and everyone else will play 90 minutes. Apart from maybe one or two like Kyle and, and H may play the parts that Madison and, and Boyd don't play at Redden.